This is video number six of the um, Aggregate Demand and Aggregate Supply series in Unit 2.2 of the IB Macroeconomic Syllabus. In this uh, video, I will introduce Short Run Aggregate Supply, SRAS, and its determinants. So let's get started. So what are the learning outcomes that I hope to achieve by the end of this video and hopefully you hope to learn by the end of this video? Well, first of all, we're going to describe the term aggregate supply. We're going to explain using a diagram why this SRS curve is sloped upward. It's upward sloping. And explain using a diagram how the AS curve in the short run can shift due to factors including changes in resource prices, changes in business taxes and subsidies, as well as supply shocks. Let's see um, what this lesson will be about. So what is aggregate supply? In the previous five videos of this series, I explained aggregate demand and the components of aggregate demand and the things that cause the aggregate demand curve to shift. I'm going to do the same in this video. What is aggregate supply? Aggregate supply is the total amount of goods and services that all industries in the economy will produce at a given price level. It is essentially the sum of all the supply curves of all industries in the economy. Uh, when we talk about aggregate supply in macroeconomics, we have to distinguish between the short run and the long run. In macroeconomic analysis, the short run is the period of time, so the short run is the period of time where prices of the factors of production are fixed, particularly, particularly wages for labor. So in the short run in macroeconomic analysis, sorry, in the macroeconomic analysis, the short run is the period of time where the prices of the factors of production are fixed, especially wages for labor. It's the period of time where wages for labor are um, fixed. They do not adjust. They do not change. This is the short run in macroeconomic analysis. So why is the short run aggregate supply curve upward sloping? Well, remember, the short run in macroeconomics is the period where the prices of the factors of production, including the wages of labor, are fixed. To produce more output, firms have to give workers incentives to work more. Okay? So they have to pay overtime wages. Therefore, costs of production rise, and these are passed on to the consumers in the form of higher prices. Therefore, the average price level in the economy starts to rise. And that's why, that essentially explains why the short-run aggregate supply curve is upward sloping. Um, that means the relationship between the average price level and the SRAS are positively uh, related. They are positively related. As you can see here, um, in the short run, because uh, prices of the factors of production are fixed, and the only way you can convince the workers to produce more is to pay them over time, this will raise your costs of production. Therefore, the only real way for um, aggregate supply to increase from Y1 to Y2, costs of production have to rise, and therefore these will be passed on to the consumers in the form of a higher price level. So the average price level rises from PL1 to PL2. So as you can see, they are positively related, and this is why the SRAS curve is upward sloping. Uh, so again, here's a sort of more zoomed in uh, short-run aggregate supply curve, you can see there's a positive relationship as the average, uh, sorry, as real, um, ag as aggregate supply increases from Y1 to Y2, the average price level rises from PL1 to PL2. There's a positive um, relationship and that's why it is upward sloping. The next learning objective is to explain using a diagram how the aggregate supply curve in the short run, the short-run aggregate supply curve can shift due to factors including changes in resource prices, changes in business taxes and subsidies, and supply shocks. So we're going to look at the factors that shift the SRAS curve. Now remember, when the SRAS curve shifts to the right, there has been an increase in short-run aggregate supply. So every time we talk about an increase in short-run aggregate supply, that means the curve shifts to the right. When the curve shifts to the left, that means there has been a decrease in short-run aggregate supply. So the shift from SRAS to SRAS2, that shift here is a decrease. So from now on, you know when there's an increase in short-run aggregate supply, the curve has shifted to the right. When there's a decrease, the curve has shifted to the left. Let's explore these factors that shift the aggregate supply curve in the short run. 
So the first factor from the many factors that cause shifts in short-run aggregate supply is changes in resource prices. By resource prices, we could be referring to a whole bunch of things. We could be referring to the wages that are paid um, for labor, for the workers, the raw materials, the prices of raw materials. Um, if oil is a, a, a key raw material and oil prices rise across the global economy, that means that the resource prices have risen. Or the prices of imports, if this is a country that relies on a lot of imported raw materials. So, generally, if the prices of the factors of production rise, this means the costs of production will also rise. And so the businesses will pass on these rising costs in the form of higher prices. Therefore, short-run aggregate supply decreases, the curve shifts to the left. Okay? And the opposite is true. If the prices of the factors of production fall, maybe there's a fall in oil prices and there's a drop in um, the national minimum wage, costs of production will also fall, which will cause short-run aggregate supply to increase and shift to the right. A second factor is changes in indirect taxes and subsidies. If business taxes, which are indirect taxes, if they rise, or the opposite is true, if business subsidies fall, costs of production will rise. Remember, indirect taxes increase the costs of production. Subsidies decrease the costs of production. So if indirect taxes rise or the subsidies fall, uh, costs of production will rise. Therefore, the short-run aggregate supply will decrease and the curve will shift to the left. And the opposite is true. If business taxes fall or business subsidies rise, costs of production will fall. Therefore, short-run aggregate supply will increase and the curve will shift to the right. The last factor that causes shifts in short-run aggregate supply is supply shocks. Supply shocks can be either positive or negative. Examples of negative supply shocks, they are the ones that happen more often. Um, wars or terrorist attacks or natural disasters or financial crises or maybe outbreaks of infectious diseases and epidemics or major oil shortages because of um, oil prices spiking, for example, when oil prices spike due to major shortages. All of these can cause a negative supply shock and therefore short-run aggregate supply will decrease and the curve will shift to the left. And the opposite is true. If there's maybe a sudden and major technological advancement, this can cause a positive supply shock, and short-run aggregate supply will increase and the curve will shift to the right. So in this video, we have explained what short-run aggregate supply is. We distinguished between the short-run and the long-run in macroeconomic analysis. We explained why the short-run aggregate supply curve is upward sloping, and we look at the factors or the determinants of short-run aggregate supply and these are the factors that cause shift in the short-run aggregate supply curve. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.